Ich bin Elsa. Oh, hi! Welcome to the Indiana Dunes Visitor Center. I'm Jessica, one of the destination concierges. In this video, I'll give you the inside scoop of all the amazing things we have to see and do in the Indiana Dunes. You have to check out the dunes when you're here, and you can't miss the unforgettable views of Lake Michigan. They're stunning. Fun fact, Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore is now Indiana Dunes National Park. Come check this park off that bucket list. Are you ready for a challenge? Great, then lace up your shoes and get ready to conquer the famous Three Dune Challenge. On this 1.5 mile hike, you'll scale the three highest sand dunes in the Indiana Dunes State Park. Want to find out more about this beautiful place? My friend Ranger Mac can tell you all about it in our Dunes 101 series. Come on, we've got more to see. The dunes are just the beginning. We have loads of outdoor adventures. Whether hiking, biking, or paddling, you're going to love the beautiful woods and wetlands you find in the region. And don't be surprised if you hear an incredible number of birds serenading you along the way. Did you know that we're a major stop for migrating birds? A great spot for bird watching in the spring and fall is along the Portage Lakefront and Riverwalk. No matter what kind of activities you're looking for, be sure to grab the Beyond the Beach Outdoor Adventures Guide or talk to us at the Visitor Center to find out more. Now there's a reason we're famous for the dunes, but there is so much more to do and see while you're here. So come on, I'm gonna show you all the best places to shake off the sand south of the dunes. Let's go. Wondering where you can get your paddles into the water? Take a kayaking trip on the Kankakee River. Start with a delicious breakfast or pastry from Berkey's Bakery and Market. Then bring your kayak or canoe to launch from Dunn's Bridge County Park. You'll get amazing views from the water that you can't get anywhere else. And the Kankakee is also a great place to drop your fishing line. Did you forget to pack a fishing pole or a cooler? We've got you covered. Just head out to Bass Pro Shop. You'll find everything you need for an unforgettable hunting or fishing trip. You'll also want to check out the amazing indoor waterfall and massive freshwater aquarium. Feeling hungry? Take a break and choose from a delicious selection of family favorites at the Isla Morada Fish Company restaurant, located right inside the store. If you want to stick to dry land, grab your mountain bike and head out to the Outback Trail at Imagination Glen. Here you'll find 10 miles of trails designed for all skill levels. You can take two different loops for moderate and advanced riders, or if you're new to mountain biking, you'll find a loop specially designed for beginners. For an even smoother ride, hop on the Prairie Duneland Trail. This wide asphalt trail runs for 10 miles through scenic countryside and under shady trees. Looking for a place to unwind? Check out Founders Square Park. This charming outdoor venue features a splash pad, a fully accessible playground for kids, and an open stage. So when I'm not relaxing by the beach, one of my favorite spots is Zayo Island. Why? Because here there be dragons! Okay, so maybe not real dragons, but they do have live alligators, and you can even feed them if you want to. Okay, so maybe feeding gators really isn't on your bucket list, but no worries. With miniature golf, batting cages, go-karts, and laser tag, there's something here for everyone. Me? Oh, I love grabbing some pizza and playing in the arcade. Bet you can't beat my high score. Next time on. For more fun like this, click the card. If you like trying new things as much as I do, you won't want to miss the Broken Wagon Bison Ranch. That's right, you heard me, bison. Come on, let's go see how close we can get. Safely, of course. For a small fee, you can take a fun tractor tour to visit these mighty beasts. That's Big John. They say he's strong enough to lift this tractor. So let's try not to make him angry. Back at the store, you can find bison leather goods, bison hides, one-of-a-kind jewelry, and locally grown bison meats. You have to check out the amazing rail garden at the Gavis Arboretum. This incredible rail system winds through almost an acre of meticulous landscaping and scenery. And when you're ready to pull yourself away from the trains, you'll find plenty to see in the Children's Adventure Garden. So now that we've stretched our legs a little bit, let's go down to the Port Drive-In for a quick bite. Come on. Not drive through, drive in. The Port's been serving customers great food since 1953. Did you know they make their own root beer? And they'll bring it straight to your window. But what's a road trip down memory lane without a drive-in movie? The 49er is one of fewer than 20 drive-ins still operating in Indiana, and it shows all of the latest blockbusters. 
And for movie buffs who want to go state-of-the-art, the Portage 16 IMAX offers a four-story screen and full-motion D-Box seats for some films. The Chapel of the Resurrection at Valparaiso University was voted one of the top 30 most beautiful college chapels in the world. It's easy to see why. If you stand here in the middle, you can see the amazing stained glass on this end and the incredible pipe organs on this end. I mean, look at all those pipes. While you're here, you have to check out the Brower Museum of Art. This curated gallery alone is worth the trip. It holds world-class historic and modern masterpieces from artists like Georgia O'Keeffe and Andy Warhol. It's an amazing collection. Click the card for many more attractions like these. You can see art and history come together at the Memorial Opera House. This theater dates all the way back to 1893, and you can still catch great live shows here throughout the year. Psst. Some of the locals say it's haunted, so keep your eyes open. You can learn more about the history of the region at the Porter County Museum, right next door to the historic jail building. Help me out, help me out, man, come on. Or at one of our other fantastic museums in the area, like the Stagecoach Inn Museum. Visitors can learn about the history of the area and see rooms decorated just as travelers and residents would have found them 170 years ago. The nearby Panhandle Depot was built in 1868. It now houses exhibits featuring railroad history, as well as a legacy of military service of local residents. For more history and culture options, click the card. <gasps> Showtime. When people ask me what I love most about living in the Midwest, I always tell them about the amazing farmer's markets. All of our farmer's markets offer a chance to grab a delicious treat or a unique gift while listening to live music from area musicians. If you head to the European market in Chesterton, be sure to get in line early for the delicious artisan cheeses. Trust me, with so much to do, you're gonna work up quite an appetite. The question is, how do you choose? You can check out the Indiana Dunes Culinary Tour on our website. It's easy to find the best local restaurants. So what do you think? Maybe you want to try the award-winning ribs? Or authentic Spanish cuisine? Mediterranean? Sushi? Have I mentioned I love my job? And you can't forget dessert. Try one of the local favorites. There's Valpo Velvet, the hometown ice cream shop that's over 70 years old and offers 60 flavors of secret recipe ice cream. And there's much, much more. Click the card for more dining and nightlife options like these. When it's time to call it a day, be sure to check out our website or talk to one of our destination concierges. Whether you're looking for a cozy B&B &B or a hotel with all the amenities, we'll help you find the perfect place to catch some Z's. Believe it or not, this is just a glimpse of all the amazing attractions waiting for you in Indiana Dunes country. But why should I have all the fun? Now it's your turn. Remember, we're here to help you plan the perfect trip for you, your family, and friends. And we've got everything you need to make planning your trip fun and easy. You can pick up one of our activities guides at the Visitor Center, or we're happy to mail it to you. Of course, you can always check us out online and use the planning tools at indianadunes.com. You could also work one-on-one -on -one with a destination concierge, like me, to build a custom itinerary at the Visitor Center. Indiana Dunes Country isn't just a summertime experience. Come in the fall, winter, or spring for seasonal activities, otherworldly views, and unique natural habitats. So what do you say? Are you ready to climb a sand dune, feed an alligator, or go to the drive-in? Come explore Indiana Dunes Country and take a trip you'll never forget. Hi again. Don't forget to subscribe. We always have something new happening in the Indiana Dunes area, and we'd love to tell you all about it. See you at the Visitor Center.